So we got Colin and Lucas here from Faded Minds Clothing. What's, What's up, guys? On? What's going on? How are you? What's going on? How are you? So uh, what a what a couple of weeks it's been. You guys, last week you you dropped your your pieces to public. You dropped the beanies. You dropped the shirts. But let's maybe bring it back to the beginning about you know you guys coming to this after school program, not even knowing what it was about. And maybe we could kind of go week by week of, like, our progress. So how would you even, like, find out about the program? Yeah, I mean, our school, they put up posters one week. And, I mean, me and Colin walking through the hallways, we saw them. And uh, we thought it was, like, a great opportunity to meet new people, find new things to do. And uh, I think that was really what started it all, that it was just a poster. How do you guys even know each other? Uh, we've been friends since uh, third grade in uh, our CCD after school, and uh, we got to know each other very well, and we've been friends really ever since. That's so cool. So I remember when I met you guys, it was, you know, I'm doing a business program, and I, you had no clue that I even had a clothing brand. Yeah, no. And then that was the first thing that you said. You're like, we want to start a clothing brand. So you said you tried to start a clothing brand in the past? Uh, yeah, I mean, I tried to start a clothing brand, and uh, I mean, it wasn't really successful. It maybe lasted a week. But, uh, I mean, from that experience, it was like a cool thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was cool to see that you had a clothing brand and you had, like, the tools and the opportunities to help us. And uh, it was great that we wanted to start one and you were here to help. Let's maybe talk about the steps that we took because we we got a lot done in two months so maybe let's talk about you know how we started we pretty much started with a blank piece of paper and then last week you literally had products and you had like 50 items available you know so uh you know what were some of the the highlights from the the program for you guys uh well i would say some of the highlights were definitely well drawing up the logo and uh figuring out what we want to do, like what was our inspiration behind it, and uh, like how we came up with the idea. Um, some other things were like, obviously, my, one of my favorite highlights were actually getting the shirts, trying them on, and uh, they were amazing, came out very qu cool, and uh, had a great quality to it. Um, but uh, another one was actually like writing what we want to do with our brand, like writing our goals, it was just nice to know, like, where we want, what we wanted to do with this brand. Yeah, those are big. You know, we we made a plan because the right we go online or we we go on the computer that we see that you could do so much, but it's like you got to start somewhere, right? So you know, here you are in the starting phase. How do we get to a a place where now you're you're at the post office? printing bunch of labels and get into that point right so we talked about a lot of building block stuff yeah. you know like what the brand means to you right that was almost a whole lesson of just what what does the brand mean so maybe you could even break that down for us too because you know i hear faded minds clothing everyone may look at it a different way but maybe you could break it down your way yeah, and I mean, to reiterate what Colin just said, I mean, it was great to, like, go through the process of, like, really finding ourselves on a blank piece of paper and really drawing it up from there. And uh, it was just really cool, and I feel like we all became, like, a really tight family, all three of us. And I think where it started from the beginning to where we are now, I think Faded Minds Clothing is what we brought to this program, the fact that we're just kids that want to do something and really just start like a new revolution in the world and just be ourselves and not be confined to a one kind of cookie cutter way in the world. And um, I mean, it's cool really to see that now we're going to be going to the post office and shipping out orders potentially and just really like getting our stuff out there. And it's amazing to see, man. I would like to say that it was also nice like how this all started, like it was just two kids, me and him walking through the hallway, 
just stopping by an after school program and to see it turn into like an amazing uh, company or business and to see it turn out this way and like to have a chance at like uh, going somewhere is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm, I'm, su I'm super proud because when we, we looked at the timeline, it was almost questionable, can products even be made? You know, we, I, I talked with people and they were like, are you sure things could be made? And we were, I was like, yeah, we need to make stuff. I want these kids to see their visions, you know, and, you know, we put our foot on the gas and, and here you are now driving <laughs> your dream, you know, your dream uh, spaceship, you know, and, and that's really what I wanted you to see because, right, how, how been the experiences now, now that you actually have items, what are some of the responses that you've got? Because now people are seeing your stuff, they're interacting, they're feeling the products. How's that been? What's that, that experience like? Now that people are actually seeing that, you know, two kids, I may see you guys be like, well, these guys aren't serious, right? Because I know a lot of young kids, they talk, they just talk, and they have good intentions. But it could be a lack of resources, it could be a lack of time, money, support. But here you, you guys are breaking the stereotype of, no, like we are the younger generation and we, we make things happen. So now that you've made it happen and people are seeing that, what's been the response been now? Because now, you know, there are people that probably doubted you and now seeing you walking down the halls with your stuff, like talk about that. Yeah, and I mean, just like you said, like people didn't believe in it in the beginning. I mean, they just saw it like, oh, you and Colin, you guys, you're just going to an after school program. It's not going to become something. You guys aren't serious about it. And I think once we really came into school with the shirts and everything and we started giving it out, like people saw it and they came to us even and they were like, wow, so it wasn't just an after school program. You guys like actually did something. And I think that is like the best like satisfaction you can really get, like breaking those like people that doubted you and like so they can see that you actually did something is like the greatest thing to see. Uh, what I like about it is, like, everything comes with, like, time. Like, you know, people ask, like, the quality of the shirts, like, the money, like, how are you going to get all this done in a certain time frame? Like, everything comes with time, and uh, you just got to, like, take the little steps and just work on it piece by piece, and it'll eventually become something. And it's just nice to see that uh, we turned nothing into something. And uh, we proved the people that said, like, you weren't going to get anything done. And nothing was going to uh, happen, really. Uh, it's nice to see that we've proved them wrong. And people are supporting our brand. So maybe we could talk about some of your future goals. You know, we, we wrote a lot of goals down on the paper. But what... You got a lot done in a few months. What are a few things that, you know, you want to see come to life next? I mean, without giving so much away, I mean, we already have stuff in the works. Like, the little spoiler, like, cutting through. I mean, take that, whatever you want from it. But, I mean, we have, like, a lot of ideas, and I think a future goal is to push those ideas forward, really put them in action and uh, like get them out into public in the world. I know some of my future goals, like he said, we're definitely getting new stuff out. And uh, I also like to like, like the development in the social media, like get a more following because it's nice to, it's always nice to have a following out there, like knowing that people support you. And like, obviously there's gonna be some haters. People are not gonna like your brand. Uh, and people are not going to understand it, but um, you're just going to have to stick with the people that like, like your brand, support it and everything. And like I said, it's only going to come through time. You're going to have to wait. Um, and good, like my dad or, and me like to say, good things come to those who wait. And uh, I really think that uh, that's something that I want to happen. I love it.
Yeah, it's just it's just been amazing to see both you guys growth. I'm happy to be part of the journey. We got a lot done. I remember making that logo with you know you guys literally saying, "Hey, we, I want this. I want this." And then I had our design team, you know, draw it out digitally, and then back and forth on the emails, making sure it was the way that you wanted it. And um, I remember coming here. We we picked the garments. Maybe even talk about that, right? Because you didn't just pick any garment either, right? Didn't we go through a process? Maybe we could kind of even talk about even picking the right shirt. You know, some stuff. I remember when I started, I, I had no clue. I just took the first shirt that the printing company would give me. They said, hey, we do 10 shirts for 15 bucks each. And I didn't even know the difference. But maybe we could even talk about that, how we sourced different products. And what was that process to even figure out the actual garment? And then I even know the beanies too. You, we had to we had to shop around for those to find the right fits and the right cuts. Yeah. So um, uh, when uh, they were brought in, we looked through multiple selections and like uh, we were just feeling them out, see what we liked best and what we wanted to do, and what what was like our preference with our brand. Um, and then we did, we did the exact same thing with the beanies. We checked, we wanted to see what we liked and what we think would be best for the brand. So, uh, I know what we ended up was like a nice white beanie and with a nice texture and it was amazing. I would, it was a great choice and I loved it. And, uh, I love to see what we did with the brand and, uh, how it came out. Like the feeling of the shirts are amazing. Uh, the beanies fit well and uh, are nice. Like, I have a nice touch to it. Yeah. And uh, definitely, even even with the paint on it, like the paint, like the, the texture, it's, I love it. Yeah, like, just to reiterate, Colin, I mean, it wasn't just, like, a find one thing and just take it and use it. I mean, we had many selections where we just went and really... There were some contradictions where me and Colin had to go through it. Like, we had to discuss, like, which one's better. And I think that in the end, like, we really like made a compromise of more of a preference of what we both like. And we really made a combination, which, I mean, we both love the shirts and we love the way they feel. And, I mean, it's really a great all-around shirt. You can wear it in the winter and the summer. You can wear it whenever. And I mean, just like Colin said, I mean, it takes time to do this. Like, patience is the currency of the best rewards. And I mean, if we have the patience to really just like sort out ideas and understand what we want, I think that we will really have one of the greatest things in store for the new, like, coming world up. I'm so excited. So for anyone that wants to connect with the brand and check out the new releases or behind the scenes. What is the links or the social media or TikToks or Instagrams and all that? Yeah, so I mean, for we have an Instagram and a TikTok, which uh, is recently like new. It's yeah. just started soon. Um, I mean, on TikTok, it's uh, at Faded Minds Clothing, all lowercase. And then uh, on Instagram, Faded Minds Clothing and uh, no spaces, just one word on both and all lowercase. And we'd love to have people, you know, DM us, tell us what you think. And we love seeing what people have in store for us and what they think. Uh, I love the social media accounts. They're amazing. I like the idea of, like, spreading it throughout the Internet, trying to spread more, get a wider variety because, you know, like connect people like someone may follow you that's from like california like mm -hmm. washington or not like halfway across the country and uh, it's just nice to see that um and i really like that idea yeah. yeah you guys said you guys said some amazing things because you said the word compromise yeah. right because when you started you're starting as a unit yeah. two people both have difference of opinions different you like different stuff you have different styles but you're here for the same purpose mm -hmm. to make you know to make something special so it was really good to see your growth 
throughout this program because there were times where I remember you didn't agree. You wanted one thing. You wanted another thing. Then I loved how you guys worked it out. You mm -hmm. talked it out. It didn't get messy. It felt maybe it was messy trying to figure it out, but it was like, no, we, we're going to figure this out. We, like, I like this. I like this. But I like how you were able to, you know, unify your ideas and unify your differences of opinions for a unified vision. So uh, props to you guys, man. I'm really excited about what you guys do with this and where you go. And you always got my support, you know, so... We appreciate it. I'm lot. excited to just see where you go with all this. Yeah, I mean, just like Colin said, we've been friends since third grade. So I think that us, like, having that big relationship, we're able to work things out. And I think that's great for the brand. And, like, I know kids all around the world, they wear, like, their favorite, like, athlete jersey. And, I mean, I know probably the athletes love seeing their last name on kids' backs. And, I mean, I think me and Colin will really love to see all those kids, like, around the world or wherever they are, even here. I think we'd love seeing our logo and our ideas on them. I, I see it happening. You know, you guys are out here making your dreams a reality. Yeah. What could you say to someone that wants to make their dreams a reality? Just do it. I mean, yeah. I think the whole point of a, an idea, no idea is a bad idea because everything has a purpose. I mean, I know that I'm a religious person, so I think that God puts something in store for you wherever you are. And I think that whatever you have an idea of doing or whatever you want to do shouldn't become something unturned. Because when you look back in life, you're going to see those like missed opportunities, and you're going to want to do it all over again. And I mean, us being young right now, I think us taking this opportunity by the horns and really just going forward with it was one of the greatest ideas we had. So, I mean, I think the best thing is find the people that you're really good being surrounded with, the people that can help you a lot. And I think that is the best thing that you can do for your dreams because your dreams can become reality with enough time and effort. Thank you both, guys. Once again, shout out to Sundog Theater. Shout out to McCown, Victoria, Susan, Miss Setti. And we really appreciate... Uh, I'm really proud of you guys. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Yeah, we really appreciate you too for coming to McCown and uh, helping us build this uh, great business. And I just want to say thank you. Of course. Yeah, thank you, Dave, so much for like all your support and everything. We really do appreciate you.